Oh, it was a pretty day. They were all lined up with the babies, holding hands, little American flags, popcorn, cotton candy. Little boys and girls had dreamed about being a pilot, airplanes. And the moms and dads that were been in the service that had worked on them and flew them. They all gathered there for the air show. And the planes were taking off and the sounds were great. The oohs and ahs could be heard through the crowd. The eyes of children were just big. And then that one airplane hit that other airplane there in Dallas. And tragedy was right there in color and real time. Fire and death. And them children and the men and all their dreams have been watching. I don't know why that stuff happens. One day I will. You get to find out in the by and by. It's a guarantee. It's going to happen. But I'd like to think on that day, here recently, when that tragedy happened in America, because it's always airplanes that really strike our heart, 9-11. I'd like to think the reason that happens is so that you can identify with the amount of time that you have left that you may or may not have and its importance and what it's worth because let me tell you I don't give a fuck how much money you got you can't buy time and so in the culture of being a parent and getting right and getting off the dope and living a dream you gotta realize that you need to live every fucking moment at the max level of gratitude of appreciation, of the dream, of the culture, of winning, and give it all you can give. Punish them with your success. To the people in Dallas, I want to apologize. But we got to realize it doesn't happen to us. It happens for us. And we need to take the message home that every day is a blessing. And we need to win every one of them. God bless you from Arkansas, fluid English.